there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August 29th, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. We can expect scattered to numerous storms mainly during the afternoon and early evening hours for the weekend and into the start of the work week. Drier air moves in, keeping us mainly dry through the end of the work week. We'll start off with the 0 Z run of the GFS Valley today at 4 p.m. We'll have more waves of showers and storms move through the area today, most of which will be from the moisture fetch of Lar. The good news is that the moisture levels will drop throughout the day as dry air will be advected into central Alabama. Therefore, rainfall amounts will not be as high. However, showers and storms will be likely, especially by the afternoon and early evening hours. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. The effects of water will be long gone on Sunday and we could possibly see some subsidence form over much of the area behind Laura. While models have shown showers and storms becoming likely, we'll reduce that a little bit and say there will be a decent chance of scattered mainly afternoon showers and storms. A couple of storms may become strong to marginally severe with the possibility of isolated damaging wind gusts. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Unfortunately, moisture returns on Monday as a trough will be digging into our west, allowing moisture-rich air to flow in from the southwest. Showers and thunderstorms will be likely mainly in the afternoon and early evening hours. Highs will be in the mid-80s to the lower 90s. Much of the same story for Tuesday as showers and storms will be likely mainly during the afternoon and early evening hours, but coverage of those should be a little less. Highs will be in the mid-80s to the lower 90s. Subsidence sets back in across the area on Wednesday and Thursday as high pressure builds over the southeast just to our east-northeast. There will be plenty of sunshine on both days, but we may have an isolated shower storm during the afternoon hours. Highs on both days will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. We'll have a slight rise in the chance of scattered afternoon showers and storms on Friday, but the good news is that most locations will stay dry. Highs will be in the mid-80s to the lower 90s. And looking at the tropics, as of 12.30 a.m. this morning, a tropical wave was located about 600 miles east of the Windward Islands and is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Some gradual development of this system is possible during the next several days while it moves westward at about 15 miles per hour toward the Lesser Antilles. Regardless of development, this system will likely produce gusty winds and locally heavy rainfall across portions of the Windward and Leeward Islands on Sunday. The formation chance through the next five days is low, only at 30%. Another tropical wave is located over the eastern Atlantic Ocean, just southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. This system is expected to move very slowly for the next several days, and some development is possible early next week over the eastern or central tropical Atlantic. The formation chance through the next five days is medium at 40%. The rest of the Atlantic Basin is quiet. That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.